What up, Boxing World? JF Sports. So, Pauli Malinaji defeated Fasekas today. Um, he ended up pretty much his, you know, two-fight losing streak to a 25-year-old dude, Hungarian dude, who had, what is it, 21 losses prior to Malinaji. So now the dude had... 22 losses and 27 wins. Uh, it was an easy fight for Malinaji. Um, he pretty much won all the rounds. And as soon as I get the link in, um, the link of the fight, I'm gonna put it in the description so you guys can check him out on the next video. But um, I guess Paolo Malinaji uh, wants to keep fighting. I mean, obviously this was an obvious cherry pick, but he's planning to actually continue fighting he's trying to fight a guy that's 45 years old named Branco um, he said that he wins against that guy uh, he wants to keep uh, fighting and uh, he's targeting the IBF welterweight champion Kel Brook is this freaking guy for real is Pauli Malaji real serious I thought he was gonna retire what happened to that now Pauli Malaji scored 79-72, via unanimous decision against a young Hungarian dude who could barely touch Malinaji pretty much. You know, they fought in Italy, as you guys know. Um, and uh, that ended up uh, Pauli Malinaji's two-fight losing streak. And another one was with um, Danny Garcia, right? So, Malinaji advanced to 34-7. With seven KOs in his resume. This guy's a fucking joke. But um, he did win. So, I don't know. I guess he gets a lot of love in his country. Over there in uh, Italy. Because as you guys know, uh, Malnagi is uh, Italian. And he speaks uh, Italian fluently. So, I guess he's going to keep fighting over there in um, milking um, uh, bo his boxing career over there. And try to make the most money out of it. But, because... As far as in the U.S., he's not going to be able to do that. You know, there's only so many opponents that he act could actually fight at the moment. Hell, I don't even think he'd win against freaking um, Jose Vargas. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, who really is Malinaji going to fight uh, in the U.S.? Bradley, maybe, you know. Um, but other than that, uh, this... You know, there's really nobody at the moment that's going to take that fight. I mean, there was rumors uh, that Pacquiao wanted to fight Malinaji, but obviously that's not going to happen. Malinaji's not going to fight Pacquiao, even if it's for a seven-figure payday. You know, I don't know why Malinaji wouldn't take that when he did take the uh, fight against Garcia with less, with less money. But, um, so I guess Malinaji's going to continue fighting. As he said, he's going to try to fight uh, Kill Brook. That's going to be a joke. You know, I mean, his wins over there in Italy is not going to be nowhere near, you know, wins that he's going to have in the in the U.S. You know, he got, he's got a lot more tough opponents, especially at welterweight at the moment. And um, I don't know, man. It, it, it boggles me a little bit that Malinaji is actually continuing his career. You know, despite the fact that he already said he was going to retire. But hey, it is what it is. Um, but yep, there you go. My little review of the Malinaji versus uh, Pasekas. Wins via unanimous decision. Didn't even knock down a guy or knock out a guy that had 21 losses. But um, he's targeting another dude named Bronco. 45-year-old dude. You know, towards his... Um, main target so to speak as he said he wants to fight Kel Brook next you must be kidding but um yep let me know what you guys think drop me a comment and uh like I said uh, as soon as I get the link of the fight I'm gonna put it in the description so y'all can check him out so you all make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Paulo Malinaji versus Fasekas full fight link uh I'll talk to you guys in the next one thanks for watching subscribe